I I know, but seriously, I hope you can hear the cartel. It's like a movie. The last 24 hours. I cannot believe what is going on in my country right now. Actually, in my region, in my world. Am I dreaming? Is this really happening? So yesterday, the last 24 hours have been a blur. Because yesterday, I found myself at a strange part of my day just hearing the news break about uh, the fact that the Prime Minister of Trinidad, um, Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bissar, was addressing the nation. There was a lot of sort of rumor going around about what she was actually going to say. And in turns out, she fired 18 ministers, right? Totally historic move, and to say the least, decisive on allegations. Not necessarily things that have been proven or charges brought, you know? So, I mean, a lot of things went through, go through your mind. One, it's carnival like a boss. Hashtag like a boss. Hashtag... Uh, back in L, I don't mean carnival. I mean, w what could be going on? Also, you would imagine that for Barbadians, the first thought is, if only, if only we had a prime minister who, first of all, spoke to the nation, right? Our prime minister, um, Frondel Stewart, it, it, he would never do that. A live press conference, much less a prepared press conference, you know? So that stark irony, I'm sure, is, is uh, greeting Barbadians today. And then when the night couldn't get more surreal, I then get an email from someone, it's five hours since they've sent it, to remind me of the dinner I was having with them five hours before. I completely forgot a dinner. I was so embarrassed, mortified. So just as I thought I could not feel any worse, the Leroy Paris story broke. And I don't know what to say about that. I mean, I can't imagine it. Leroy Paris is saying that he is not responsible for what went on at Clico. Um, I was trying to follow. I think he's suggesting that the financial institution that was brought in to deal with their assets is to blame. But I feel I must be dreaming. It, it was like a movie. I mean, I'm not sure how you could issue blame. Of course you must shoulder responsibility. I mean, if not you, who? This man was what the heads of the company, you know? Uh, he said he was too busy to sign checks, right? So that infers very crassly that we should be speaking to the signer of the checks. The gall of the man! It is so hurtful for me because even if we, even if we uh, allow for a monstrous avoidance of common sense, I feel you should still be approaching with humility. Let's just say it's true. Can't you come in like, gosh, people have lost their entire life savings, you know? So I'm just horrified about it, man. It's, it's, it's like a movie. Come on, it's not